afternoon Arundel, so we are going to be doing our art lesson now, which this afternoon we are looking at um, traditional African calabashes, which is a word that I hadn't heard of before, uh, basically means a water pot, so it fits in nicely with what we're doing in our poetry this week, looking at water aid, and um, these are the pots that the people would carry on their heads, so we're going to have a go at designing one of those today. So the first thing you will need to do is to draw yourself out a sort of vase or a pot looking shape. I have put some examples on your resources on Google Classroom to give you some ideas, but you will obviously need to do it quite nice and big. So once you've drawn your pot, remember it's a three dimensional object, so you need that kind of ellipsis, uh, ellipse at the top there, um, and yeah, so make it 3D. Once you've done that, you can use paint um, or you can use pencil, whatever you've got to hand. But quite nice to do paint because you can try and build up a 3D image. So I've got some brown paints that I've been able to use. You can mix colours. So if you were to mix green and red, you would start to get a brown colour. So you can mix some colours to do that. Now, to start off with, because it's a three-dimensional object, I'm going to try and make it darker on one side. So I'm going for this really earthy, earthy tones. Okay, and what I'm trying to do with my brush strokes is to try and follow the curve of the pot. So we've got that curve going across. And I'm purposely doing it on one side first, because then when I come to do the other side, I might start to add in just a little bit of white, just to make it a bit lighter on the other side so that you've got a dark side and a light side so you've got that shading that you're doing building up that 3d image another way of doing it is you can go all the way across with one dark color and then at the end you can add in a little bit of white to that side and that starts to build in that shading Okay, so you start to see where the light perhaps hits the pot on one side and on the other side you can always thicken that up to make it darker okay, so there we go we start to build up our image like that then when you finish that you end up with something like that so again you can see where it's dried you can really see the light falling on one side of the pot i've also colored in the inside of the pot a contrasting color and if you want to at this stage it's quite nice you can just go through with a dark brush and you can just do some little lines just to again highlight that dark side okay right so we can do something like that then to do our decoration you can see these are all made of gourds so if we remember back to um, our own freedom book and we spoke a lot about gourds um, these were the type of pots that they made in africa um, and they would use them to carry the water. You can see some lovely designs up there. So obviously then you can choose your design. I did say we might be using some uh, cotton buds. So if you wanted, I quite like this dotted one. So you might want to do some little dotted ones going across. Again, remember that your vase is a three or your pot is a three dimensional shape. So it's not necessarily going in a straight line, it's curving slightly. Okay, all right. Um, I'm using earth, earthy colours, so I'll just stick to the whites and the um, blacks, browns, yellows, those sorts of things. And you can start to build up your design. Again, you can copy any of those designs up there and... You might even want to use something like the side of a um, lolly stick. Would help. You can actually then use like that to make straight lines as well with the dots. But I'd love to see what designs you do. Have a go at home. And don't forget to send them in on um, Google Classroom. Bye-bye.